All right, see how this goes. So, I was at the Zen Lounge tonight. I did my thing. And then, uh, I really need to figure out how to get around my brain farts. I understand I'm 47, and I know that my mind tends to wander a lot. And sometimes I don't know how to deal with it. You know, uh, back in 2017, I'll let you all know this, I had a series of micro strokes that uh, fucked up my cognitive ability to a degree. <laughs> so that was, that was fun. And uh, so I'm a little slower in thinking now than I used to be. I used to be really fast in thinking, and now I'm just like between between getting older and and that stroke, that series of uh, stroke-like events, as my doctors called it. Um, shit. It it is it isn't always smooth. Okay, it isn't always smooth. I I I, I feel good win on my stage. I feel good. I enjoy it. I enjoy interacting, but I do know that telling jokes to a room full of comedians and other comics doesn't always work well because other comics have this idea in mind that I can do that better. Fuck you. What the fuck you saying? Nah, that ain't funny. That ain't funny. The fuck? What's funny about farts? What's funny about farts? You're really asking that? Farts are inherently funny. What the hell happened to you all that you don't think farts are funny? God damn. <laughs> farts are always going to be funny. They're always going to be funny. So there is to it. Farts are fucking funny. But I didn't uh, get the last I wanted. And then I, uh, several things happened at the same time tonight, which you'll see once you watch this, uh, the brain fart, <laughs> which is funny to do, and, so, and also uh, just the fact that I wasn't getting the laughs that I wanted, because I thought it was fucking funny, and everybody else is like, fuck you, Tim, you suck, well, at least I don't blow. You know what? It's a journey. It's an experimentation. My stage presence is strong, but my material is weak. So yes, right now all my material is weak. All y'all who keep coming back, keep coming back and watching my stuff. Thank you very much. I appreciate your support, and I, I'm promising you this: it will get better. I will get stronger with my material. It's just taking time to get that material right to figure out what's going to go on. And the best thing that's ever happened to me is a silent room. This has been the best thing that's ever happened to me because it makes me stronger. It makes me better. It makes me able to compete on that stage when there's silence because it means either they don't get it or they're contemplating what I'm saying or it's just not worthwhile. Which could be the truth. It could be the truth, but I'm working on it. It's a work in progress. I'm a work in progress. And you are fucking fantastic for continue, continuing to come in here and see me make an ass out of myself every night. I'm, I'm going to keep doing it too. What else do I got to do? My wife left me, so fuck it. <laughs> I got nothing better to do with my time and DoorDash and make an ass out of myself on stage. Anyhow, watch this one at the Zen Lounge tonight. Again, I didn't do it, uh, do a video beforehand. Um, because I didn't feel like it. Also, I left a notebook and my tripod at the Zen Lounge, so hopefully that can get thrown away. That can get thrown away, so I can go back and get it. But uh, <laughs> uh, if I have to buy a new one, whatever. There wasn't much in that notebook anyway, except for 
stupid shit involving bills at the thing. Anyhow, enjoy the video, and I'll probably have something afterwards, so talk to you then. See you again soon. Thanks for watching. Love you all. Love you all. You're amazing. Alright, enough of that. Mm -hmm. nice. Takes a lot of balls to end a comedy set on my dad is also dead. <laughs> but this man found him in his soul. Alright, this next comic come to the stage. I have noticed watching during Kyle's set that he has two phones, and I'm really curious where you got the second one from and why. Please welcome to the stage, Tim Purvis, everybody. <laughs> I have two phones because one's a timer and my MP3 player, and the other one's the one that works. <laughs> That's why. Uh, thank you. I appreciate it. And uh, let's give it up for everybody who's already been up here. Thank you. Good, good, good job. Uh, I was formulating a thought on some of the commentary, but I have decided not to do that because I don't want to get in trouble. <laughs> I am Tim motherfucking Purvis, <clears throat> and I am an absurdist by nature. I do and say absurd fucking shit. Anybody who's seen me knows that fucking shit. They know that they know how absurd it is. I want when I first started doing this venture, when I came home to this venture, I I I um hey how you doing? <laughs> Welcome. Make yourselves at home. <laughs> I, I started with a, uh, a joke about a five minute joke that I couldn't tell because it was going to take five minutes to tell. And I only had five minutes. I only have five minutes, so I can't tell this joke. It's the funniest fucking joke ever, but I only have five minutes. The ironic part is that it took five minutes for me to say that. So my first stand up bit was me telling the five minute joke, which wasn't funny. But I have discovered that there is. The uh, funny joke that is the funniest joke ever. And I know what that funniest joke is now. Are you ready for it? Yeah. Farts. Farts are the funniest jokes ever. That's why every comedian has, uh, worth their song, has a fart joke in their arsenal. Now, not everybody laughs at farts, but everybody finds them funny. I get too fucking old. <laughs> My fucking mind is like goes everywhere. It doesn't stay focused on what I need it to. But it's like, um, you know, I am getting used to silence. Thank you. I appreciate it. Y'all are just giving me so much self fuckingness. But it's like uh, everybody knows somebody, and <laughs> nobody wants. To... Let me reset. Hold on. I know what the fuck I'm saying. Oh shit. Alright. It's like uh, being in a room and then uh, you scoot back. Oh, did you just fart? No, that wasn't me. It was a chair. But the floor is carpeted. Well, leave it to me to find a noisy one. <laughs> or being in an elevator. Everybody knows somebody let one loose. I'm winning you over with this one. <laughs> this is a great fucking shit right here. Thank you. <laughs> I'm doing this great. I'm doing fantastic. Okay. And I have squandered my time trying to recuperate. Okay. My favorite one is when my grandfather used to tell me, and this is where this is actually trying to lead up to. My, you know, when my grandfather would always say things like, and when he sat down, he ripped one so bad it sounded like he broke a hole through the damn chair. Like, and, and, and then he would sit there, Jerry that frog. <laughs> Why? Did you shove one down your pants? It sounded like that sucker violently exploded. <laughs> Maybe you should get yourself changed. I think you got fried guts all over your track. 
I'm working on it. It's a work in progress, guys. This is a work in progress. I appreciate it. So I'm going to leave you with this fucking bullshit. <laughs> there are two skeletons hanging by manacles in the damn wall of a dungeon. One skeleton says to the other, you know, if we had any guts, we get out of here. And that's what I'm going to do right now is bring Ryan back up so we can have fun here if you ever come up here. Thank you. Tim Purvis, everybody. Tim, I'm going to be honest with you. that When you when you uh, paused for a sec and like went like this, I 100% thought you were trying to summon a fart on the air. <laughs> and I was like, oh, please don't hold the mic up for it. Please. That's not the other comics. All right. Uh, uh, this next time I come to the stage, he's a relative newcomer. So that was my set. Uh, thank you for sticking around to see the aftermath. Um, you know, I did get some chuckles, which is always a positive. I, I really didn't realize that the comics in the audience felt that farts are so immature. I think we had regular audience members in there, maybe three or four people who weren't comics who were just there just walked in on me <laughs> but I I'm gonna develop that material more there, there's a lot more to it there's a good 20 30 minutes worth of fart jokes that I have and I love fart jokes I don't know what's wrong with a good fart joke I don't know why people are telling me Tim farts aren't funny I'm like yes they are they're fucking hilarious I got a lot of them so buckle in, buck Buttercup. It's gonna, it's gonna be a gaseous good time. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't get it. It used to be farts for more humorous. Nowadays, everybody's like, "Fuck the woke people." I ain't woke. Woke is where it's at. Uh, I'm still asleep. I haven't woke up. So, yep. There's that. Anyhow, thanks for watching. Come back again next time. Keep checking in on this channel. I have more stuff coming up. I really do. I really have more stuff coming up. Uh, will it be funny? I don't know. What do you think? You should leave a comment down below if you thought any of it was funny to you. Okay? You, being the average viewer, you tell me. Do you like my stage presence? Do you like my jokes? My humor? Let me know. I love hearing from people. Just... Uh, don't be a fucktard about it, okay? Don't be a fucktard about it. Just, uh, leave, be honest, but don't be a fucktard. I, I have no patience for people who just want to be mean for mean's sake. Alright, well, I'll see you all next time. I am going to be working on some stuff here to put up momentarily. So we'll see how that goes. And, uh, well, until next time. Enjoy your week. Thanks for stopping by. God, why are you still here? Go home already. Oh, wait. You're probably at home. Love you. Bye.